In this example, we're going to go over an advanced naming technique that you can use on your Excel spreadsheets to make it easier for you to understand and read your formulas. So let's say that I, I want to apply a sales tax to the purchase price so I can find out how much am I paying in taxes for each item. And I want to use 7.5% sales tax. So what I want to start doing is I want to click on 7.5 and then I'm going to go to the formulas tab and I'm going to click on define name. And basically what I can do is I can basically give this cell, which is F10, I can give that cell a specific name. So let's say I'm going to name this cells tax. And then I just want to double check that the range of cells is 7.5 F10. I'm going to press OK. And now what I can do on my cells column here, I can basically enter a formula starting with equal sign. I'm going to grab the purchase price and I'm going to multiply that by sales tax. And as you see, Excel has already saved the name range in the database. So I can just click that, hit enter, and that gives me 37.55. And if you look in my formula tab bar here, it's very easy for me to see that that H6 is being multiplied by the sales tax. And that just saves me time because now I don't have to go ahead and lock, uh, apply absolute or relevant uh, symbols on, on, on my formula. For example, let's say I wanted to do F10, I would have to go ahead and lock this symbol in order to to see that this is my sales tax and so when I look at my formula it's you know this is great this is very beginner stuff but um, you know an advanced technique is basically why not make it much more simpler to understand and and see that you know it you can just apply sales tax hit enter and then now click and drag and I have all my correct values so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave me in the comment down below. And thanks for watching.